Okay, let's talk about smudging. Smudging is when you shade and either use your hand or a compressed piece of paper or one of those smudge sticks to create a lighter value or a different texture by rubbing the shading with your finger or these other objects that I just mentioned. Sometimes I use a Q-tip. Smudging, by definition, is to become messily smeared by rubbing something. I think art can be gloriously messy, but the first thing I want my students to learn is control over their materials. Later, we can spend a lot of fun time in the studio playing with our materials and experimenting to see what they'll do on their own. But in the beginning, the more control you have over your pencil, the more you can draw with it. I consider this to be mastery. I often see people who have taught themselves using smudging, and that's because without it, they can't get the lightest values in their shading. I think of it like a crutch. It's something that's used in the place of the skill of drawing light values. Smudging has a time and a place. When the image you're drawing is soft or blurry, such as these clouds, then you'll want to use smudging. Another reason that you might use smudging is when the content or message of the image needs to be softened, erased, or blurred. Maybe it's suggesting something like a haze, or fog, or a memory, or a ghost, or even an image in motion like this watercolor. This is a watercolor that I did from a picture taken from a moving train. So I wanted it to be blurry. I wanted it to have soft edges because that shows the motion. But being able to control the value you're shading with any pencil is going to give you a much broader range of skills. This will come in handy if, handy if you're drawing something as basic as this cube here, or it will also be really necessary if you're going to shade something more difficult like this fork drawing in which you have to have very light values without smudging. So I know drawing without smudging might seem like an impossible task. I assure you it's not. Follow along in my next few videos and you're going to see ways that you can hold your pencil and also ways that you can use any graphite pencil to draw a lighter value. And I promise you that if you practice these tips, you're going to develop the muscle memory and this is going to be a piece of cake. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.